I'm Jill Jackson with CBS. Yes. Do you mind if I just ask you real quick, do you have any plans to apologize on the floor? I've already apologized to the president and I appreciate his accepting the apology. Do you, do you think the Democrats, uh, is this, what do you, why do you think they're going this far to bring I, I, a resolution to the floor? Uh, I, I'm disappointed because the president said, let's uh, stop playing politics. Right. Uh, this is politics. And so I want to join with the president and have a civil discussion on health care issues. Do you think that, is there anything, um, Republicans have been making the argument that they're trying to distract from the issues? Is that what you think? I, I see a distraction because we need to be discussing the health care issues. Right. Which... I mean, would, if you could go back and do it again, do you still feel like you would not have had that outburst? Oh, I would have, I, that's not me. Uh, as one of my sons said, this was a uh, town hall moment. Uh, it was a one-time uh, event. I, will never, I would never do uh, such conduct. Uh, and uh, that's why I was so appreciative of the president accepting my apology. Are you going to speak on the floor this afternoon when yes. it comes? What are you going to say? I, I'm putting Great. it together. Any, any, any preview? No, no, just that I, I appreciate the American people. And I appreciate my family. Thank you. We did. Um, with CBS News. I've apologized to the president. And he's been very grateful for accepting my apology. And can I ask your opinion of the resolution that's going to be voted on tonight? I believe it's playing politics. I think it's a diversion. From our discussion, as I uh, agreed with the White House to discuss uh, the uh, elements of health care, that's what we should be doing, not playing politics. Do you believe that if a representative breaks House rules, that they should apologize to the body? I believe the apology uh, in this case uh, would be to the President of the United States, uh, the most powerful person on earth. I have apologized. Uh, he's been so gracious uh, as late as um, Sunday night. Uh, to also accept my apology, and uh, I'm confident that he knows it's sincere. Uh, the Vice President accepted my apology. I know the Vice President. He knows me. He's indicated um, the acceptance of the apology. Do you think, though, that there's a problem if members don't apologize when they break the rules, that they could set a precedent, uh, that the, basically the rules of decorum could change? In the uh, my view is that uh, each uh, incident should be considered individually. In this, in this incident, do you think? I did, uh, my view is that uh, there should be, uh, uh, with the apology I've made, that should be it. That should be the end. Let's get on and discuss the very crucial issues of health care reform. What do you think? Uh, some people have said that this would not have happened if this were, some people have said this would not have happened with a president that wasn't black. Uh, that's um, a distraction. Uh, the, uh, key point is the president has accepted my apology. I'm very, very grateful. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, sir.